Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating colour schemes from gradients in Adobe Illustrator. So one of the simplest ways of applying a gradient that you can actually get to as a colour scheme is to make a blend. So I'm going to the square tool here or the rectangle tool. I'm just going to drag out a square. I'm going to duplicate it holding down the Alt key and just dragging it into a new position. Now I'm going to apply some colors to these, so I'm going to select this first square. I don't want it to have a stroke and that's really, really important. Do not have a stroke here. I'm going to select the first of my colors, which is this color here. And then I'm going to select this shape. I'm just going to quickly reset the way it looks by just clicking on this shape with the eyedropper. So now I can simply change the fill. So clicking on that shape with the eyedropper gave it a fill and no stroke and made it very quick and easy for me just to apply my new fill. It's just a handy trick. You don't need to do it, but it's a trick. So I'm going to select over both of these shapes. They're not in line. I'm not worried about anything here except getting my gradient. So I'm going to choose Object and then Blend and Make. Now my default Make, because I've been playing around with this this morning, is a certain number of steps. So it's four specified steps. And you can see that what I've got is basically a gradient from my first color to my last color. If you set it to specified steps, then you can alter this number so you can have more steps on your gradient or less. Really depends on how many colors you want in your color scheme. So I'm just going to choose seven. I'll click OK. Now say I'm looking at this and before I go and create my color scheme, I'm not really happy with this color here. Then I'm going to my layers palette and inside the layers palette is my blend. So let me just open this up. This is my blend, so I'm going to open it up and you can see there's the path, that slightly bent path because the two shapes weren't in alignment. But here is my dark red rectangle and here is my lighter one. If I click on this one, then I can change it. I'm isolating it and I can change it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and warm that color up a little bit and also lighten it a little bit. That's a better gradient for me, but I can isolate either of these shapes really easily and just change it and that's going to change the gradient. So once I'm happy with what I'm seeing here, I'm going to reselect my blend. I'm going back to the object menu, back to blend, and I'm going to expand it. And what that does is it gives me every single one of those shapes as a box. It's inside a group. So I'm just going to ungroup it for a minute. That might make it easier to see. We've got a whole series of boxes, each with a color from that gradient in them. To make them into a color scheme, we're just going to select over all of them. We're going to the swatches panel. Down here at the bottom of the swatches panel is an option for new color group. We're going to click on that. Now because we've basically got our colors selected, because we've got shapes selected that are filled with the color, we're just going to select selected artwork. If you want these to be global colors, you can click this option. They will be global colors. I'm happy with process for this, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked and I'll click OK. And here is my new color group that is made up of those colors in that blend. And so I can use that in my designs. In this case, I've got a shape that I've created from a blend and I'm simply going to use the Live Paint Bucket tool to fill this. So I'm going to select one of my colors, click on the shape and then start rotating around the colors and applying different colors from my new color scheme to this shape. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.